Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Puzzle Agent, where we're back at the diner. Um, we've got to come back here to follow up a lead, and straight away I've noticed there's a bit of gum here, so we're going to start off by taking that bad boy, taking our total to 20, which is nice. Um, I suppose we just head inside. So I think we've got to speak to the sheriff again, haven't we? What's the deal here? Was this here before? There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Could be a clue, I suppose. Now, I don't know if... Oh, there's another puzzle here by the looks of things. I don't know if these guys have got Hello more again, Darryl. puzzles. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. Oh yeah, they have, but it looks like maybe the stack of chairs is tied to them. I don't see the waitress around. Did she go somewhere? That's a good question. I ordered some key lime about 20 minutes ago. Okay, hidden people? Okay, this might sound silly, but have you guys ever heard about hidden people? My cousin's neighbor saw one once. Oh, not this again. <laughs> he swears they're real. So do those Nordic tree huggers, but that doesn't make it so. So, the hidden people are just a bunch of make-believe, then? Yep. Not according to my cousin's neighbor. Yeah, I'm not sure I believe that. So we've got... I don't know if this is like... You two have any more bugs you need boxed? Actually, yeah. That sounds like fun. Let's box up some more bugs. Wait, seriously? I was joking. Let's get to it! More bugs in boxes. I don't... Daryl's bugs are loose again. Connect the points to box them back up, keeping these rules in mind. Enclose all the bugs using the fewest number of lines to draw a box as possible. A box can be any size, it must be four sided. Bugs of the same kind can share a box. Uh, okay, so the pinks need two, including the square it's on. And the greens need three, including the square it's on. So it looks like the rules are the same. I think this is slightly different, though, isn't it? To how it was before. I think. Um, right, so. If they need two including the ones... These guys need two including the ones they're on. These guys need three, so... Um, if, for argument's sake, we went like this, that would give them their two, right? So they've both got the one they're on plus an additional one. Uh, so we could go like that because then he's got his three. That could potentially go there, so he's got his two. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky, because obviously this guy could go along here to have his two, but then we've got all of these guys here as well, so can we potentially open this up into like one big box or do we need to or do we need to do it slightly differently so um <clears throat> what have we got here so what was i saying this guy could potentially like have these two well he's got to have these two spots actually because he can't have two going that way so that's gonna have to be the s start the question is, can we fit these guys all in one big box? So could we go like like that, where those guys, you know, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Would that work? So he could be that one and that one. He could be that one and that one. He could be that one and that one. Let me just check. Uh, bugs of the same kind can share a box. Okay, so we're going to have to divide that. Like that. I wonder if we could like put them all in one big box, but because they're different bugs, we can't, I guess. Um, and then, theoretically, actually, we could put these guys in one box, right? Because we've got one, two, one, two. So we've got one, two for him, for those guys, one each. One, two for him. Uh, one, 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 two, one, one, two, one, two. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, let's submit. Yeah, nice. 
okay. More bugs in boxes. So it does seem like it's a different puzzle to before. Uh, we've done the how, haven't we? Before, so. Another puzzle solved. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, that's an entirely Hello optional. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. Puzzle. More bugs. Let's try to box those bugs again. Let's get to it. Super bugs in boxes. Oh my god. Okay, once again, Daryl's bugs have busted loose. Connect the points to box them up, keeping these rules in mind. So it's going to be the same rules, I imagine. Enclose all the bugs using the fewest number of lines to draw a box. Uh, any side, yeah, four size, four sided. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's, it's the same deal as before, basically. Um, <clears throat> although the layout is slightly different this time, which is interesting. Um, I don't know, the screen looks different for some reason. Okay, so, <clears throat> is there a way... Sorry, just having a drink. Is there a way we can get all of these green guys into one box, if we do like a big box like this? He would need two, two, uh, no, I don't think we can. So that would suggest to me that, um, that this guy is going to have to be in his own box, which can't be that way because of this guy, so it's got to be this way. So. Can these guys go in a box? Like a big box here. Uh, one, two, one, two. They can, as long as this guy can go in a box here. Um, which I suppose he could, but I don't know if that's going to affect efficiency if we do that, because I get the I get the the impression we want to keep as many of these guys in boxes as possible. So. Um, let's see, if we do, this guy could go in a box like this, I think, because we've got one, two, one, two, so that's fine there, um, and then that means this guy can, this guy can go into a box. This guy can go into a box. I don't know if this is the most efficient way of doing this, but... So... If this guy goes into a box here... That causes a problem for him. If this guy goes into a box here... That doesn't cause a problem. Because... We can do this one two and then we've got enough to do that so one two for him one two for him one two one two one 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 and then i'm not sure about if if this works like this because whether diagonals count so one two one two uh let's just submit and see i'm not sure about the diagonals but we'll give it a go Nice. Okay. Happy with that. Super bugs in boxes. Now, is there going to be like a super duper bugs in boxes? Done. That wasn't so bad. Let's have a look. See if there's like Hello another. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. Oh, there's not. Okay, it's gone away now. Fine. All right. Let's see if this guy's got anything to say. How are you doing, Steve? Oh, he's got another birds puzzle. That one was tricky before. Do you know anything about hidden people? Collectors will pay a tidy sum for a wooden one. But you don't believe in them, do you? Do I seem crazy to you? Um, I mean, no. Should we do the birds puzzle? Out of curiosity, anything else you want to tell me about these birds? They're smart. I once saw a black-bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese danish. Wow. Lona Steve has an order of ceramic gnomes ready to ship, and here comes his avian mail carriers. Draw lines to attach freight to birds' legs, keeping in mind these rules. Okay, can't remember the rules. A mallard can carry two gnomes per leg, an owl 1.5, a bluebird 1. Okay. 
Birds may team up, each carrying what he can. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Lines can't cross or the t shipment will become entangled. Okay, so the freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's legs. So, two gnomes for a, for a duck, basically, mallard. An owl can carry 1.5 gnomes, just to make things difficult. And then we've got a bluebird being able to carry one. Okay, so... Oh, we have to draw lines this time. This is different to before, isn't it? So, hang on, let's just go over this again. Uh, no, where's the... Okay. Birds can team up. A mallard can carry two gnomes per leg. So that's like four gnomes total for their legs. An owl can do 1.5, a bluebird one. So an owl can basically carry three total and a bluebird can carry one total. Okay, so. Um, how many gnomes have we got here? One, two. How many can these guys carry per leg again? Rules. Okay, so they can carry two per leg, so let's just say that he can carry that. If he goes to here, that means we need three coming from this one, right? We need to wake up three. Now, these guys can carry one per leg, so that takes care of two. Um, we've still got one more to go. So if we do one there, he could carry that that being his one we can do 1.5 per leg here so remember the, the lines can't cross as well so if he does two there and then two there takes out two leaves us with three so 1.5 each right two one two that leaves us with one he carries the one he carries that one he carries that two and two from there, which leaves us with three for 1.5 for each leg. Yeah, I think that's right. Cool. I think that was easier than the previous bird puzzle, to be honest. Oh, I'm flying in this episode. Yeah, okay, no explanation given there. Well, that wasn't so hard. Question is, has he got another one? Like the other guys had extra How are you doing, Steve? bug puzzles. No, but he's got this business thing. How's business? Who wants to know? I'm just making conversation. Oh, well, maybe you can help me figure something out then. It's been driving me crazy. Here you go, then. Oh, no, it is. Look, once again, Lona Steve needs your help to attach the bags to the birds. Don't forget the rules. Okay, so it's the same... It's the same thing again, but hot hawks. Okay, so one... Two... That carries those two. Uh, one to there. And then he can carry the other one. Um, and then... Yeah, two and one. Yeah, fine. Two and two. Have we got... Have we got too many birds? We've only got five... left, and we've got two, three, four... We've got too many birds. Uh, so we've got one, two, three... I mean, if we do that that and that. That's two, three and a half, five, which we've got there. But then this guy isn't doing anything. Does this guy need to do anything? Every bird... Birds may team up. Uh, freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. I mean, technically, he's carrying nothing on either leg, so does that... Does that count? It doesn't say anything about every bird needing to carry something that I can see. 
Birds may team up on heavy loads. Freight must be balanced evenly between a bird's two legs. Lines cannot... Yeah, that... Okay. I mean, so we've got one there and one. Then we get the extra one to him. He takes one, which leaves two, so we use him for the other two. He takes two there, which leaves two, and he takes that. He takes two of those, which leaves three, so we use the owl to do one and a half and one and a half. Yeah. And this is like... I don't see what else it can be. Yeah, okay, so you don't need to use all the birds then. Fine. Oh, we are absolutely flying in this episode. Getting top agent on everything. Well, that takes care of that one. Well, it does indeed. Have you got any more? How are you doing, Steve? He has not, okay. See you, Steve. Right, fine. So we've got the, the sheriff here that we can talk to in the next one. We've also got these chairs, which it seems like might be like a, a main puzzle because it's got the different colored puzzle piece icon. I'm not really sure if that's how it works, but we will take a look at that in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kubadin, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, Johncom555, Chrissy, Paul James, and TJG66. And I'll see you next time.